Madani was the photographer of the working class. He was the first to get a 35 millimeter camera in the city, in Saida, which allowed him to give competitive prices. So he ended up taking pictures of workers fixing cars, doing ag agriculture. He photographed most of the shops and most of the sellers. And uh, this is a guy who worked from 7 in the morning till 12 midnight, seven days a week, but with a little bit less than 10 cents a picture, he was able to accumulate uh, uh, enough money to send his uh, kids to, to study in the, in the US. So um, my relationship with Madani uh, started while looking for um, pictures of cars and uh, trucks, and then extended it. Today it became like a lifetime project looking not only for pictures, but looking for all sorts of uh, data objects that could testify about um, the function that photographic studios played in the second half of the 20th century. These were not places that would only produce pictures for people. These were places um, of transactions. They are like crossroads. They became places where you could come and buy a Super 8 projector and rent uh, Laurel and Hardy films, project them t to your neighbors. This place uh, that is facing the camera in the 50s and 60s was a really, really fun. People come and uh, use accessories, disguise in front of the camera. Men make themselves women, women make themselves men. They wear eyeglasses, they put neckties. People would come with their guns, take a picture of themselves with guns. It's theater. I consider the studio uh, an archeolo archeological excavation. It's a different way of using photography uh, and displaying um, uh, uh, photography and relating it to its initial uh, place. We always take, we always say we take a picture as if we really take it and, and leave it. In this case, it's like bringing back pictures.